Okay, so in a previous video, I showed you how you could import OpenStreetMap data into your Blender scene using Blender GIS. And in this video, I wanted to show you how you can use the image texture that comes with the terrain and map that onto the roofs of the buildings. Okay, so first we need to select all of the roofs. So I'm gonna go in, select my building objects, I'm gonna press tab to go into edit mode, and then I'm gonna press three to go into phase select mode. And I'm just gonna select one of the roofs. And then I'm gonna to go to select, select similar, and then choose normal. And that's gonna select all the faces that have the same normal orientation, which is, I think, all of them. Now we need to add some materials. So in the material editor, I'm gonna add two slots. And in the first, I'm just gonna add the default material. And in the second, I'm gonna add a material called roof. And then I'm gonna press assign. And that's gonna take my selection and apply it all to that roof material. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to give these roof faces a UV map. So if you go to top view by pressing seven on the number pad, or by pressing the top view on the little widget here, you can go into top view. And then if you press U and then project from view, this will project the faces as your UV map. And I recommend choosing this option scale to bounds because it will help to constrain the UV islands. So next I'm gonna split my space in two. And in this half, I'm gonna choose the UV editor. So this is a 2D projection of those roofs. And I'm going to go to this little drop down menu here and choose the image Google Sat WM. And you can see that the islands are roughly matched to where they should be in the UV editor, but they're kind of a little bit off. So the way to fix this is with all of your islands selected, press G to grab them and move them so that some of the islands are in the right place. And then what I would do is I would go to 2D cursor mode, shift right click, set your 2D cursor on the area that you're happy with, and then go somewhere else and see if it's still correct. So I'm gonna go all the way over to the other side of the map. And then I can see here that this needs to be scaled out a little bit from where that 2D cursor was. I'm just pressing S to scale. You may also have to rotate. Now I can see that this building is lined up here. These ones look lined up. So I think I'm probably in a pretty good configuration. So now we also have to make some material nodes. So I'm gonna change the UV editor to the shader editor. And then in here, I'm gonna press Shift A to add a new image texture node. I'm gonna put that in there. And then I'm gonna to go to this drop down, and I'm gonna choose the Google Sat WM image. And I'm gonna connect the color to the color channel of the principal BSDF. And you can see that the material updates. And now if we go over here to to the look dev mode or textured mode, we should see that the texture is being used on the tops of the buildings. Yeah, there it is. So now I'm using my texture not only on the terrain, but also on the buildings themselves. So we can even go to EV mode, we can add a sunlight. And then if we go to the shadow properties and go to cascaded shadow map, we can change the max shadow distance to something like 5,000. And then we have a way of applying sunlight to our buildings as well. So you might also want to select your buildings, go to the base material that we created previously and change the color of that as well. So you might want to choose like a 50% gray so that it blends a little bit more with the landscape and the image text. But yeah, that's basically how you apply an image texture to your OSM buildings.